this is week one, day one. Net 225, routing and switching essentials. It's the first day of the spring term. <clears throat> so we did a little bit of the course intro, did a review, did a pre-test, and then we started talking about routing. Router is just a computer and we access that we can go through the console we talked about VTY and the auxiliary port so the auxiliary port this would be using a modem and we reviewed that concept if we had a modem connected to this port connected to plain old telephone service, POTS, which stays up when the power goes out. This, the router, can be on a UPS. So we're able to, from our laptop, right, you can have your laptop running off a battery hooked into the plain old telephone system. So if you had a power outage, you'd be able to, using command line, <clears throat> connect in through the phone system, right? Get into your equipment and power it down before the battery in the UPS runs out. You bring the systems down in an organized fashion. All right. <clears throat> through the network, using a browser or some terminal software or whatever. And this would be, you'd have to be there using a rollover cable. <clears throat> we spent a fair amount of time with this. And I'm not going to take a lot of time here, but we actually started with the application layer. Remember, that's hooked into some app. Then we um, talked about presenting the data. You know, getting the data in the form, for example, ASCII, and here's where we would do encryption. We set up a session with each end, then we figure out how we're going to transport the data. Reliable, unreliable. <clears throat> right, and the data now split into a segment. We're going to take this data and put it into manageable parts. We're going to figure out how we're going to break it down and then transport it. I use the example, John Deere needs to send a combine or a tractor somewhere. So I'm going to take some of it apart to allow them to transport it and then put it back together on the end, the other end. Capsulate and de-unencapsulate. Okay. The best path, we're going to use an IP address. And here we talk about a packet. Data link, we're going to link our two devices together, you know, maybe you have a couple switches, I'll link them together, or you have some device connected into the switch. We talked a little bit about Ethernet, and then the physical layer. Remember, how are the bits going to be represented? At the data link, we have a frame, at the physical layer, we just have the bits. And then, if we're going to talk about this for the TCP IP model, this whole group is called the application layer because this whole thing here really is talking about getting connected to the app and getting the data figure out how to transport the data so that's the same they call this the internet instead of the network basically does the same thing and this makes sense because really these two layers are how our device accesses the network <clears throat> Whatever device it is, whatever it is, could be uh, could be anything. Nowadays, with the Internet of Things, <clears throat> in the curriculum they talk about characteristics of a network, uh, speed, uh, 
speed, topology, scalable, available, security, reliable. I might have named them all, but those that's in the curriculum. Talked about ingress and egress coming into the router, egress coming out of the router. The router selects the best path. Process switching is what we most of the time think about. Looking at the routing table. But there are faster ways to do that. Fast switching, it would create a cache to keep track of what's coming in and out. Um, Cisco Express Forwarding has this um, like a database and it keeps track and it's a very efficient way to send information through and we're really not going to go that into that anymore I did mention the students right now to understand routing and routers think about the process switching and don't worry about these two at this point we did the did the pretest and then we came back, looked a little more at the curriculum, and the students were supposed to, even if they didn't get it done, I wanted to make sure we went through the process of downloading a PDF in Adobe Reader, editing, well, and then save, and then editing, and then being able to post it again for me to look at. And this is pretty easy to do. We use this whole thing uses Google Maps to draw out and take a look at how Google Maps would have multiple routes to get from A to B. And then why does it pick the best one? You can kind of relate it to routing. And that's it for today. <clears throat>